uh, I will turn it to the weekly so it will be more clear what happened this year, right? We have the euro still rising its rates steadily, right, since past May. And the American uh, United States keeping them low, right? And however, since the rate hike started, right, euro remains limited and below the high it goes at the moment. I have set uh, the yearly high and yearly low in this red line, the 70, 49, 40 area. So we can start talking about what we can expect about this pair. So I still do believe that uh, despite despite current recovery in the currency, despite search, search and limited strength we are seeing in the euro, the fact is that in this particular case, the market is a bit more ignoring the fact of the sovereign day and focusing much more in the rate differential. Meaning, uh, we were talking about what will weigh more, right, in, from the fundamental side. The fact that the eurozone can fall apart, which I really won't expect to happen, or the rate differential. The fact is that we have seen on the market lately, and not only regarding euro, but regarding every single currency, that the rate differential is the main market mover in the long term across the board. I have seen today a very strong inflation reading in, reading in Canada, right? I, just, I hope you noticed that. And the Canadian dollar breaking higher against the dollar and several other mayors. Australia has been also holding uh, a hawkish policy with a 4.5 percent, 4.75 sorry percent interest rates at this moment, and also reach 1.10, and we are barely 500 pips away of that record height post early this year, right? So, despite the eurozone sovereign crisis, I could say that at this point, and despite not showing too much strength, the euro itself. The fact is that the market will keep focusing on rate differential. That's also the main reason why pounds is unable to regain the upside, right? Despite we are seeing intraday short movements in the in, um, eight attempts to write sorry in pound against greenback, right? And always being limited this last couple of days by the 160 area, right? After my latest bank in one minute, uh, the pair has been pretty much cut to the upside. Anyway. And taking a look at what we could expect from the euro for the upcoming month. First of all, keep in mind that we are in summer. So, for the coming couple of weeks, and even a couple of months, meaning until mid, late August, I'm not expecting too much definitions in this particular clause. Okay? Not much definitions of the trend. Still, slightly bullish tone will persist. And the probable trading range to downside should remain limited by the 41 level. Right? Yeah, also, I would expect a pair to break above the 45, 45, 50 level over the next couple of months. Maybe mid-August, the situation can change. But honestly, right now, I would expect further consolidation of gains with a slightly bullish chart, right? I have avoided placing indicators in this chart because I want to see more of what's going on with price action rather than with, with the technical indicators, okay? As you may see, I have placed a Fibonacci retracement to the complete euro yearly run, okay? We have seen the corrective movement reaching barely the 50%, nearly the 50%, and the pair aiming higher. I love the 14.6% retracement because the candle opening about this area will probably signal every test of the high from 1440, no doubt. That's why I like this level in my Fibonacci, the spike is not very common. But usually, a break of this area, which is not that far away, but I will not expect to be rich soon, right, will signal an upside continuation of the paper. So that will be the area to watch, this 46, 30, 50 area, right, to confirm further gains in the euro. In that case, maybe one month, one and a half months, then I would expect further gains in the common currency, but mostly due to dollar weakness and lack of economic growth rather than uh, and the rate differential, of course, waiting in the euro, more than the worrisome of the uh, sovereign debt crisis, right? Anyway, uh, and that was to the upside. And to the downside, really, I wouldn't expect the pair to lose the, the 14 area anytime soon. 
turn into smaller time frames, right? Uh, we'll see the pair has been unable to sustain gains in this high daily chart shows the pair has retreated and has found sellers at this level. 150 is a quite strong logical level, so we should expect the pair to remain contained at that area over the, this year. I really won't expect such strong gains in error, right? Despite the slightly bullish tone, I won't really expect a fresh um, high for this year on the pair, right? Mostly a steady consolidation that will continue to the upside slowly over that coming month. Of course, with some corrections in the middle of that, that we could not forecast just right now. But in general, I would expect the euro to remain strong against May of rival, okay, with 149.40 as a level to probably reach after August is over, okay?